Okay, so I'm actually in a hotel away from home. I have worked out, eaten dinner. And I was working on a video. I wanted to do a video on um, uh, flying lead changes and discovered that there was a lot of video of me um, trying to walk you guys through a day in the life of me. I think I am at 12 minutes and I fast forwarded a whole bunch of it and I think I made it to like 10 o'clock in the morning and the video is plenty long enough because I don't want you guys to get bored. I have never actually done a video that was basically just um, about me and uh, not about a whole bunch of information. But yeah, there's actually no riding of horses. There's a lot of talk about it, but it's basically what one of my mornings looks like. So, I'm gonna end it with that. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe for me, pretty please. Thank you, have a great night. Good morning. I have no idea what I look like. It's Sunday morning. I'm heading out to do chores. I don't have a working student this weekend, so it's been exhausting. I've been up for a couple hours working on my blog. Do, 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 do. Drinking some coffee out of my Christmas mug. Mm. I am heading out to feed. It has been unusually dry here. In Oregon um, so all of my horses except for one are outside I feel lazy because I don't have to clean stalls and I'm pretty happy about that I'm not gonna lie uh, last night mr. Rex um, I put his blankets on him and he is body clipped. And yesterday, this is my hay room, so pardon me while I use the light on my GoPro to see the hay room. Anyhow, I went to put his blankets on him last night, and it was a relatively warm day yesterday. It was 55 or so. Uh, and it was probably 45 degrees when I fed last night. I put all his blankies on him. He just wears two sheets because um, he gets super hot. And then he proceeded to violently start rolling and acting like he was colicking because he was too hot. So last night about, I don't know, what time was it puppy? He says it was late, about 11, 11.30. I um, got up and came out and put his sheet on him. So I'm gonna set you down for a second so I can use two hands. Puppy, you keep an eye on the GoPro. Stop, no, 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 bring that back here. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Can I have that? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Mission failed. Oh, that little puppy is so fun. So where was I on my story about Rex? Um, I came out, put his one sheet on because it was still pretty warm. Uh, and I'm glad I only put one on him because Although it froze a little bit last night, it, it feels warmer this morning than what we've had. <laughs> it's a glamorous life. Glamorous. Ah, deep breaths. So I'm uh, running into things this winter like my watering tank 
for my arena watering is about dry. Um, and I'm on a well, so I can't fill it, which is awesome in some sort of way. Uh, so um, I'm gonna water the arena a little bit this morning uh, before I get out here to ride. So before I bore you to death with, with all about me, uh, what I'm doing today, I'm gonna finish writing my blog. I uploaded a video on YouTube last night about uh, uh, putting the horse through the jump chute and my plan is to finish the blog, work out, which is appropriate because the blog is about excuses why not to work out. I have five horses to ride, one horse to do some groundwork on. I have a birthday party for my best friend's husband who's 85 um, today that I'm going to and then I'll come back, do chores, uh, finish up any horses I didn't get worked. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plan for the day. Ah, so I'll keep you um, abreast of what's going on. All right. Yo, mom, mom, mom. Any way you could stop screwing around with that camera and possibly, you know, use your thumbs, get me some hay, you know, get what I'm saying here. You get down with me. Yo. Love always, Justin. I'm embarrassed to say months. Uh, I I had no toilet that flushed, <laughs> so I was uh, I'd fill up a pitcher of water and fill it, pour it in the back tank of the toilet, and uh, yeah, because I had no water coming into my toilet. But it was so weird. I had water to my I had hot water to my sink. I had cold water and hot water to the shower but I had no cold water to my bathroom sink or my toilet and months it's been going on for months which is super fun to my working student who uh, is starting to be kind of sarcastic about things and uh, said that she was happy to go home this weekend so she could actually have a toilet that flushed She's just not into old school. So weird, so weird. But anyhow, so fast forward. Yesterday, my neighbor came down to help me because it's plex, is that how you say it? Pl uh, piping, um, and I don't have the tool, and I have no idea how to take it apart. Now I do. Mm, cold coffee. Ah, uh, so he came down, um, we went, we, <laughs> He went upstairs in the attic because we thought maybe it was uh, clogged somewhere because all the plumbing um, goes upstairs because I live on a concrete slab. Ah, anyhow, couldn't figure out anything. Went back underneath the sink and he took his flashlight and he was looking around and he could not believe his eyes. There was, I would say, two inch, oh, hold on. The Plex pipe was clogged, solid, with calcium, right as it teed into the sink and the toilet. 
Can you believe that? It was a miracle. Uh, so we tried to use a screw gun to get the calcium out of the um, pipe to clear it. And it was like concrete. It's literally concrete in there. Um, so, moral of the story. We just cut it off. And then we uh, took an air compressor and blew out the, the lines so that um, there wasn't anything left in the pipe. But then long story short, I have gone through three coffee pots uh, since I've lived here. Um, now I'm currently using like a teapot to warm up water in and then I put the little tea thing in to make coffee because I don't want to buy another coffee pot. Come to find out, you can put a total in-home filtration, uh, water filtration, um, I ordered it on Amazon. Um, out, I'm gonna put it outside right, right by where the pump comes into the line that comes into the house. And I'm so excited because I'm freaked out because, well, what if that calcium builds up in my toilet again and I have to go through that nightmare of not having a toilet that flushes for two months. So, I know y'all wanted to hear about my toilet. So, anyhow, enough about me. I'm gonna do my blog and then I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm going to uh, head outside to ride some horses and um, take you guys along for the day. Hopefully I'm not too boring. My blog that I was writing uh, took a lot longer than I thought, but the blog is on my whole list of excuses why I don't work out. I feel a slight obligation to work out. So I am going to uh, run on my treadmill a little bit and um, I don't know, do some weights, some ab work, but first I gotta find my dogs. Pop, 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 pops. Come on! Click, 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 click! <laughs> the cool thing about having your own home gym, come on, is that, um, it doesn't matter how you look. Like, I, don't, I don't even have to shave my legs. Come on. And I look pretty trashy today with my baggy old shorts on and t-shirt. Come on. Can you drop the piece of wood? This is what I have to live with. That is a piece of wood. Drop it. Here, bring your horse boot inside. You can chew on that while I work out.